That's amazing. A wedding is a symbol of the love and commitment that two people share with each other. A wedding is also a way to share and celebrate this love and commitment, and they wish to celebrate this passage in the presence of your love and support and share their joy in each other with you, their family and friends. And now, uh, speaking of two words. Why do I get top billing here? It's, it make sense <laughs> um, I have about 30 different small segments that together could have been a speech, but I'm just going to spew them out sort of at random because I think that's the way Jeremy would want it. <laughs> um, a lot of you have known him a lot longer than I have, um, and so the idea of digging up some embarrassing story to tell him that everybody's around probably isn't actually going to set off any fireworks, so instead I'll just explain sort of where he and I have ended up after all this time. I've known Jeremy for about 10 years, and it wasn't really until we started working together on game ideas and I was forced to admit that he was at least as smart as I was that we actually became friends. <laughs> um, and when you get to be really good friends with someone, or at least for me, you start to dote on them a little bit. You make fun of their haircut to try to remind them to go get a haircut. You say, Aww. are you still wearing those shoes or where the hell did you get that jacket? That kind of thing. And that was my role for a while uh, and it was kind of fun to do. Um, and we worked together for quite a while as well, where I was at his place or he was at my place literally seven days a week. We had a standing table at best. Uh, everybody knew us by name. And then I had to go off and get one of those real person jobs about three years ago. And so we've not really grown apart, just not as frequent. You know, it's kind of sad in that way, but we're still, we're still close. And I felt like my responsibilities weren't really being, you know, I was, I was lax. I didn't have the opportunity to to, to nag him about the things that really needed nagging. Um, and it was about a year ago, I guess, that uh, I was invited to go out and see Michael Moore's Capitalism, A Love Story with Jeremy. And for anybody that's ever had that, hey, let's go have coffee and talk politics, this was a moment, right? This was a spotlight. This was your opportunity to really come out there and say, I know what the hell I'm talking about. I did hours of research before we went to go see the movie. <laughs> and Sylvan came along and we sat through it, almost in the front row, and went out for, uh, for, for coffee afterwards. And even on the ride home, we're all debating everything. We want to, you know, it's Jeremy and I, we're proving that we paid more attention or have a more salient point or a counter argument. <laughs> and I was having a hard time getting a word in edgewise because Sylvan had better <laughs> counter arguments than I did. <laughs> it was all at the top of her head and she, she knew where her facts were coming from and gave, gave a, examples from other parts of the world that I never even thought to think about in that frame of reference and I think it was at that point that I realized that someone else had taken over the doubt the, the doting responsibility from me <laughs> was going to be better at it than I could and, uh, and and ever since then I've been kind of waiting for this day and hoping that it would happen so I'm very glad for the both of you thanks very much oh. Yay. Yay.